All right, Elizabeth, the blockbuster hit American Sniper reminding Americans of the sacrifices our military has made fighting in Iraq. And obviously, America is responding. Now, more than a decade later, ISIS is on the rise. And as Al Qaeda, the group President Obama claimed had been decimated, makes a comeback. So as the president squandered our chances of victory in Iraq, and does that what this movie reminds us of? Let's ask Fox News contributor Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, who served there. Uh, Colonel, what are your thoughts as Sniper rages at the box office and there's blowback from others uh, around the country? Well, Brian, what the American Sniper shows us is the fight that we were waging against al-Qaeda in Iraq. As a matter of fact, there's the scene that talks about uh, Zarqawi and, and, of course, uh, you know, talking about how they had to try to take down that network. But what we have seen happen uh, last year in the State of the Union address when the president touted that we did not have any American soldiers in Iraq. Well, unfortunately, in that same last year in January, we saw ISIS, which was about 3,000 fighters, now has become a terrorist organization. And that is really nothing more than the reconstitution of al-Qaeda in Iraq, which we had defeated. So the problem is that President Obama came in and he based his national security strategy and policy on a campaign promise and campaign right. rhetoric, and you end up seeing these incredible ramifications thereof. Lloyd Austin said, give me at least 10,000. He's the general in mm -hmm. charge. Liam Panetta, the defense yeah. secretary, says, I agree with Lloyd Austin's assessment. The president said uh, they didn't want us there, but they clearly could have had us there. And the people that Chris Kyle is killing are al-Qaeda. They aren't necessarily Iraqis upset that we're there because it was the Iraqis that were there that got rid of al-Qaeda along with us during the surge, correct? Yes, you're absolutely correct. You know, and it's interesting that General Lloyd Austin is now the central command commander, and he is continuing to have to deal with now ISIS yeah. when he had a solution to deal with Al Qaeda in Iraq and the follow-on of the success that we had had in the surge. You know, Chris Kyle and and the exploits of those SEAL team members were out in Al Anbar province, out in Ramadi, out in Fallujah, and now guess what? ISIS is control of those areas, just the same as we're now conducting operations in. Mosul and also in the area of Kobani, which were areas that we had rid it of any type of insurgency and in al-Qaeda and what, so ha what have you. So again, this is what happens when your policy is not based upon sound national security strategy, it's based upon campaign promises and rhetoric. So the unfortunate thing is that when the president said last year in the State of the Union address we had no troops in Iraq, now we're back to 4,000 troops in Iraq. And look at what has happened in Yemen. Look at what is happening, as you just reported, in Libya and across North Africa, Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, we took our foot off the gas, and the terrorists came speeding by. Uh, Colonel yeah. Allen West, uh, I'll never, we appreciate your service and everybody else like you. Yes. Uh, the outcome hopefully will end up our way. Uh, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Brian. All right, coming up straight.